because it seems like it's an easy thing. Oh, I don't need to practice that. Yes, you do need to practice it because we see it all the time in games. I look at athletes and I think, man, if they only knew how to train the right things, then they wouldn't have made that mistake. This video is about too late. That means in sports, I used to say this phrase all the time, too late, too late, because if you don't have the ability to react instantly in a fraction of a second, you miss the opportunity. So if it's in basketball, someone's cutting, boom. You don't have time to wait an extra half second for you to gather your feet or for you to see it and then react with your slow reaction. You need to be in a position all the time to react. Good coaches usually emphasize fundamentals, and I agree, the fundamentals are important. What they're usually talking about though is fundamental sport-specific skills. So when you're talking about a sport like basketball, pivoting, basic footwork, layups, how to do a proper pass, defensive footwork, defensive stance, closing out, all that kind of stuff. Very, very fundamental basic skills, but there's something that needs to come before fundamental sport specific skills and that's fundamentals of coordination. If you don't coordinate well then just going and working on fundamental skills you're not going to develop the skills as well because you're missing something that comes before that. You're missing pre-coordinative patterns, you're missing coordination that you need that transfers to any fundamental skill. So if you can coordinate your body well then you'll be able to produce any skill from any sport pretty quickly. But if you're just drilling the skills to become very efficient at a specific skill, but your coordination prior to that isn't that great, then all that's going to happen is you may be able to reproduce that skill, that skill, that skill, but when something changes and you need to adjust, it requires some adaptability on the court, you won't be able to adapt so quickly. You won't be able to change because you don't have what comes before those skills. The coordination training that we do with athletes is essential. Most people don't realize just how essential it is because it cuts down wasted movement. It makes you move more efficiently. So as you become more harmoniously coordinated, as your body becomes more efficient, you're knocking off fractions of seconds in terms of just something as simple as grabbing a rebound and turning around to see the floor. And if more coaches and trainers would understand that they can work on these things with their players, they're not sports specific skills. They're like pre-sports specific skills. They're pre-coordinations. They're things that you have to work on that are universal. They apply universally to all sports, all positions. It doesn't matter if you're a center, power forward, point guard. It doesn't matter if you're a striker, midfield defender, winger. You need to be able to coordinate your body harmoniously and the better you can coordinate, the more instantaneously you can react and also with a greater sense of ease. You're in the flow of the game. You're, you're not forcefully trying to be fast. You have to think that prior to athletic potential, kinetic potential is relaxation, not rigidity. If I want to throw this ball, prior to me being able to deliver a fast throw is a relaxed, loose arm, like a whip. It's not strength that goes behind a powerful throw. It's not strength that goes behind a huge vertical leap. It springs, relaxation, and then So coordination training is huge. We made up a few coordinations for you to try. These are more related to basketball in terms of the patterns that they mimic, but before you get critical and say like, oh, that's a travel, it has nothing to do with whether you're traveling or not. Like I said, these aren't sports specific skills. They come before sports specific skills. So they're coordinations that are universally transferable to what you're gonna be doing on the court or on the field. Don't worry about technicalities like I'm traveling. So if I do a movement like, if I do a movement like this, Obviously that's a travel in basketball, you can't keep switching your pivot foot, but it doesn't matter. You're training the coordinated pattern so that when you're in the game you have a more efficient and a more 
integrated and responsive body. It's not every part of the body doing its own thing. It's not you using a whole bunch of muscular force up here to rip the ball. It's the whole body is loose and it's contributing to the whole movement. One simple, simple one you can do because a lot of, let's face it, call it, call it what it is. The bigger you are, usually the less coordinated you are. And post players, this is usually the case. So if you're a big guy or a big girl, you can practice something as simple as jumping with the ball, extending, landing, and immediately doing like a back step, like a back pivot with the ball up high to look up the court. Okay, and just repeat it. Repeat it like 50 times without losing your balance. So, boom, 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 boom. And every time you should be on the dime, precise. Because it seems like it's an easy thing. Oh, I don't need to practice that. Yes, you do need to practice it. Because we see it all the time in games. I look at athletes and I think, man, if they only knew how to train the right things, then they wouldn't have made that mistake. They wouldn't have made that turnover. on things that seem like oh I already know how to do that you may know how to do it but you, you're not doing it very efficiently and it's gonna cost you mistakes coordination comes first how you coordinate your body how you organize and arrange your whole body is the most important thing as far as movement and athletic development mm -hmm.